So you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. You can let me know down in the comment section. Of everything you've disliked in Call of Duty over the years, what is it that you've disliked the most? Now, I'm going to put a wager on most of you guys putting skill-based matchmaking. But if that's not what you're going to select, that's absolutely fine. Still tell me so we can get a general consensus of how you guys feel. Now, there's a video going around on YouTube. It was recommended to me yesterday. And this guy claims in his video that there's a way to turn skill-based matchmaking off. Obviously, I was intrigued by this because I am somebody that isn't a massive fan of Call of Duty in its current state when it comes to skill-based matchmaking or engagement-optimized matchmaking. I'm much more of the mantra that connection should be king when it comes to Call of Duty. And in terms of the players you play, it should be a roulette of sometimes you'll get people that absolutely stomp on you and sometimes you you'll be the one doing the stumping. I don't think there was anything wrong with the matchmaking that was in Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, those type of games. But for some reason, these guys seem to want to push the envelope when it comes to turning the dial to max on skill-based matchmaking. So this guy tells us that we need to go into the game and you can go to the shoot house playlist and you will find this little emblem here, the find a party. Click on that, go into the party finder and switch over to preferences and you will see this setting which is already set on competitive and it's your primary playstyle and your secondary playstyle. So I've gone over and switched those over to casual and then he claims that you will go into a game and find absolute butt lobbies and whilst there's a lot of people that seems to believe this is true, I don't. The first game I went into was two, level 250s. I'm not gonna bore you with the gameplay, but it was rough. It was absolutely rough. It was the same stuff that I was experiencing. People with the Orion skin, people with CDL skins. It was just a very sweaty experience. Now, I went back to the menu to have another look at if I'd done something wrong. And then I noticed this. When you actually try to search because uh, you can see the bar there with the triangle and that is telling us categorically start search. It's actually greyed out. You can't search via this tab. And I would assume with this user interface that you would have to search through this tab to activate those particular preferences, not go back to the find the match tab, which is going to put you in the normal lobbies that you would experience. And then you look at the bottom and there's two triangles saying find a party. This just exemplifies the problems that have been going on with this game in terms of its lack of a three year dedicated cycle that they've claimed it's had. I think this is just another bug or something they forgot to take out the game or it should have gone somewhere else. I don't know what it's for, but I know with certainty this isn't turning off skill-based matchmaking in the game. Who is going to allow you to turn off skill-based matchmaking in Infinity Wards camp when they've made it very clear from Modern Warfare 2019 that they have tried to make this game easier for newer players so they don't get, I think the, the exact words Joel Seacott used was punched in the mouth when they start trying to play the game. And that's why I like Treyarch because Treyarch are of the mantra that people should have a boot camp, go into the boot camp, get their bearings. And once they think they've got their bearings, then go into the wild world. I mean, every other game, Apex Legends does it. You can go and have the boot camp. Some of the games, it's mandatory that you have that particular training. I think they need to return back to the days where it used to be connection is king. And it's a miserable experience for certain people when they're of a certain skill set who have to play in love is over 100 ping because the algorithm can't find them anyone locally to play. The quality isn't there for the experience and it shouldn't be like that. I remember actually in Black Ops 2 when they first turned on the skill-based matchmaking. I think they was testing it for ranked but there was a couple of weeks where that game was absolutely miserable to play. And I actually ended up going back to Modern Warfare 3 for a period of time until they, they done what they 
they done and turn it back to normal. And that was a particular test. And if any of you guys played Advanced Warfare, you will remember what skill-based matchmaking was like when it first really hit the scene in Call of Duty. I know why this guy's done this video. Uh, it's, it's for several different reasons, but I don't think he's got people's uh, best interests at heart. He's on his way to 100K, I think he's at 85. And this is a very clickable, you might even say clickbait video. It's a video that plays on people's emotions and that's what people click videos for. There's an emotive reaction to what they see. There's some type of intrigue uh, to what they see and they've clicked on it because there are so many people in the Call of Duty community right now that just really hate the fact that skill-based matchmaking is turned to max on the dial and if they can find some way of circumventing that of course they're going to look so I think that's what this guy's done this video for because he knew what response he was going to get to this and I don't believe it works in any way shape or form there's no way that Activision would allow you to just turn skill-based matchmaking off in the game and that's essentially why people are out there doing things like reverse boosting and in terms of the lobby that he's playing I can only think of two things that have happened here he has either been thrown a bone like I have in my previous video where I've had about 10-15 matches of utter pain and then just before I'm about to log off because of this uh, engagement optimized matchmaking where they can see I'm probably going to have that feeling of ah oh, to hell with this I've been thrown a bone where the people in the lobby even I'm thinking these look these look a bit strange these people don't look like they know what they're doing it happens to all of us every now and again and some of these people that are doing this setting are probably ending up in those lobbies and then it's just pure coincidence that they've ended up in there at the same time they've just watched this video, just put this setting on and they believe that it works because let's be realistic here. If you put this setting on casual, are you trying to tell me every single one of your games going forward is going to be easy for you? It's not going to work like that. The other thing he's probably done, which is what I'm more pointing towards, is he's reverse boosted got himself this really tanked lobby and then he's obviously showed the clips he's showing in the background to rebuff what he's trying to say with this setting. I think it's a pretty disingenuous video. I can't knock the hustle. He's made himself a, a few hundred dollars for Christmas. Fair play to you, mate. But for me, it's a clickbait video that has got people to click on it because they're going to have an emotional reaction to skill-based matchmaking. And for me, it didn't work. And for you guys, don't waste your time because it's not going to work for you either. Down in the comment section, guys, you can tell me if it's worked for you <laughs> or whether it's a placebo, but I'm willing to bet that you guys have had a miserable experience eventually again, just like SBMM wants you to have. Guys, there are many buttons you could hit, but I like a subscribe button. I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.